What a day, what a day. Assalamu alaikum to Allah. So for this poem, I'm going to ask you guys to bear with me. It's the first time I've ever performed it. Um, it's meant to be as part of a bigger project that I'm writing. So um, please bear with me. If I make some mistakes, just, you know, just let it slide for the first time, inshallah. <laughs> um, so I want to ask people in the room, who's seen The Lion King here? Okay. Does anybody have any idea of what the story was based on? <laughs> what story? Does anyone know? No? Okay. So, okay, so The Lion King, Walt Disney, has taken the story from a very famous West African um, event or um, story that was told by the Griots. Anybody familiar with the Griots? The Griots were the West African storytellers who preserved history. So the story I'm going to narrate to you, or do, that I've written a poem on, is regarding the true Lion King. I said, bear with me, yeah, please. <laughs> this is the story of the warrior, the brave heart, the king of 12 kings, Sundiata Keita. Who is this forgotten legend I speak of? A man whose name was remembered by the Griots, an exiled cripple, to a conquering legend, master of alliances, armies. In fact, let me stop. Before I go further, this is a very famous West African man. So we're looking at Islam and black history, and we're looking at champions. Instead of always looking at slavery, we're going to look at some of the champions of West Africa who were Muslim and contributed to um, some of the amazing stories that we're going to hear today. So I just had to backtrack on that so you can get a bit of context. So, this is the story of the warrior, the brave heart, the king of 12 kings, Sundiata Keita. Who is this forgotten legend I speak of? A man whose name is remembered by the Griots. An exiled cripple to a conquering legend, master of alliances, armies and weapons. This is the story of the legend, the brave heart, the true Lion King, Sundiata Keita. He was a son to King Canute of the royal house of Keita. His father was the king of the people of Mandinka. They say he was a respected, handsome thinker who, mar who married this ugly woman who gave birth to Sundiata. Konate's first wife went ballistic and crazy. The king declared his successor this ugly woman's baby, denying her son the throne and leading their people. So after the king's death, she became spiteful and evil. She took vengeance out on Sundiata's mother and despite the king's wishes, gave the throne to his half-brother. Sundiata was born crippled, nor could he walk upright and even worse still, he was weak and could not fight. The people called his mother the Buffalo Lady. The insults they both had to endure were crazy. Sundiata had enough. He desired to become active and had made the device to help him walk via a blacksmith. This is the story of a warrior, a brave heart, the king of 12 kings, Sundiata Keita. Who is this forgotten legend I speak of? A man whose name is remembered by the Griots. From an exiled cripple to a conquering legend, master of alliances, armies and weapons. This is the story of the legend, the brave heart, the true Lion King, Sundiata Keita. Years passed, a young Sundiata grew stronger. He gained the use of his legs and became a skilled hunter. He became a man of mastery and a high achiever. The people revered him and saw him as their true leader. Kunata's first wife saw Sundiata as a threat to her son and the throne that they illegally kept. The only solution she saw was Sundiata's death. But before she could execute that, he and his mother fled. They safely migrated to the Mena Kingdom. It was there Sundiata grew mass power and wisdom. He gained a command in nature as an elitist warrior. Indeed, he became a man the Mena people were supporting of. But back in his homeland, the Mandinka were under siege. The tyrant Soso King invaded them with ease. Konate's first wife and her son's resistance was weak. 
and instead of defending their kingdom, they both chose to flee. This is the story of the warrior, the brave heart, the king of 12 kings, Sundiata Keita. Who is this forgotten legend I speak of? A man whose name is remembered by the Griots. From an exiled cripple to a conquering legend, master of alliances, armies and weapons. This is the story of the legend, the brave heart, the true Lion King, Sundiata Keita. The Mandinka people fell into despair. The only hope was to turn to their throne's rightful heir. The tyrant Soso King was a man to be feared, named Somaru Kante, and he had everybody scared. They sent messengers to reach Sundiata. They hoped this young warrior would become their saviour. As they broke news to Sundiata about the state of their land, the state of the people, and the state of his clan, he wanted to free his people and annihilate this man. The Soso King was strong and really well guarded. He used sorcery and magic and had a real hellish army. His conquest's main goal, which he thought was a good thing, eradicate Islam and destroy all the Muslims. The King of Mena saw Sundiata's rage. He had always been impressed with his courage and his faith. He saw him rise above the rankings with the toughest and the brave, so he allowed Sundiata to go and stop him in his reign. This is the story of the warrior, the brave heart, the king of 12 kings, Sundiata Keita. Who is this forgotten legend I speak of? A man whose name is remembered by the Griots, an exiled cripple to a conquering legend, master of alliances, armies and weapons. This is the story of the legend, the brave heart, the true Lion King, Sundiata Keita. The Mena King gave Sundiata an army, he took off at once with his vision at fast speed, uniting the Mandinka chiefs first part of his plan, then to defeat the Soso king and regain the land. Sundiata met the Soso king at Kilokoro. Their armies collided in a bloody horror. Weapons met, bodies fell, death in the air, death by the arrow sword and death by the spear. The name of this battle was the Battle of Karina. The Mandinkas were united, Sundiata as their leader. The Sosu were defiant, Somaru was real tough, but Sundiata was determined to make, so to make Somaru see blood. He fired his deadly arrow straight through the Sosu king. He injured him so badly, he couldn't do a thing. He fled the battle scene, left his army to retreat. Sundiata brought the Sosu army to their knees. This is the story of the warrior, the brave heart, a true Lion King, Sundiata Keita. Who is this forgotten legend I speak of? A man whose name is remembered by the Griots, an exiled cripple to a conquering legend, master of alliances, armies and weapons. This is the story of the legend, the brave heart, the true Lion King, Sundiata Keita. What a great victory. Now the Sosu had been defeated, the 12 heads of the Mandinka gave Sundiata their allegiance. He gained the title Mansa, which means kings of kings. He was now their sovereign leader and controlled all the strings. This was the beginning of the, of the Empire of Mali. He set up the empire's capital in the, capi in the, in the city of Niani and set to expand the empire with his generals and his army, Gambia, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, all conquered in a heartbeat. Sundiata's reign was an amazing planned mission. He ruled over a massive empire with many people and languages, developing Mali's infrastructure, finance and Islam. They say absolute security prevailed in the land. The empire of Mali has been told, for, told throughout the ages. This, the pride of joy of West Africa, its legacy is famous. Sundiata died, but his legacy will live through but we'll continue the empire's legacy. Just wait for part two. Thank you very much. Oh, what a day. What a day, what a day.